You mentioned Ronald Green a moment ago. It's now been leaked out uh, through the Associated Press, the contents, uh, at least some of the contents of the meeting that the Legislative Black Caucus had last week with Governor Edwards, uh, to include uh, saying that he was shouted down, that there were profanities uttered toward him. Can you go into what you feel the relationship now is between the Legislative Black Caucus and Governor Edwards, and do you in any way condone those reports that were in that Associated Press article, particularly the use of profanity toward any sitting governor? The relationship is great with the governor. We're very comfortable in the decisions that the governor has made based on a routine text that he received. We're real comfortable with that. Uh, we do know that there are further investigation that is going to occur. Uh, we are, we're confident that once the investigation is complete, then justice will be served for the Green family. Okay. I'm going to follow back up on your commentary about the governor receiving a routine text. He also revealed in that news conference last week that he didn't learn anything different about the nature of the Ronald Green matter until, now the text was sent in uh, May the 10th of 2019, and he contends he did not learn anything different until approximately September the 10th of 2020, which would be a span of 16 months. And he said he learned of a different version by having read it uh, from a post that quite likely was sound off Louisiana. So uh, do you accept? Do you accept him at his word that he did not learn anything different during those 16 months about the Ronald Green matter? I accept what, what he said, and I, I think the governor has done everything he possibly can to ensure that justice is served for that Green family. Uh, I think that uh, uh, we, further investigation will show that. You've seen it in the federal investigation that all of what was said was unfounded from the governor. So I, I'm confident that what the governor has uh, presented to us is exactly what transpired in the, those emails. Thank you, sir. Um, I'm just going to broach this. Uh, obviously, there is some sentiment out there uh, to embark upon the I process, the I process being impeachment. Uh, if, if, it's a hypothetical, if uh, that scenario makes it through the House and were to land in the Senate where the trial would take place, do you believe Governor Edwards would have 100 percent backing of the Legislative Black Caucus to block any impeachment efforts? Well, you've seen the recently the results from the federal government that found that there was no wrongdoing on, on, in the governor. So, you know, with all the information that we receive, uh, I, I, you know, I, I truly believe that we would definitely be behind the governor because that thus far there has not been anything to justify that the governor did anything wrong. Thank you. 